Hello everyone, today I decided I'm going to watch the movie called Nailed on the satellite and cable or whatever. Uh, it says, it, the name of the title is Nailed, um, but when I looked up on International Movie Database, the name of the movie is actually called um, Accidental Love or something like that. But um, for the purpose of this review, I'm probably going to just leave it as, as nailed. The only thing I've heard about this movie is uh, it involves uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, sorry if I butchered the name. And he has a he has a nail on his head. Wrong. Due to an accident, and it's a like I heard it's like a romance uh, comedy. Apparently. That, that alone seems quite interesting. Um, not sure who else is in the movie, so um, I can't wait to watch it. I just watched Nailed slash Accidental Love, whatever the hell the title the alternate title, or the what International Movie Database says their title is. Um, it doesn't matter what the title is. It's a bad film, okay? It is... It's not really bad, but it is bad. And it's not so bad, it's good. It's nowhere near that. It's, it's just an overall bad film. The thing... Oh, I'm trying to find some good things about the film, and I will say... The entire cast did a... You can tell they were trying their hardest to do the best they can with the script. And it does show that they were trying to do the best they can. And that's one of the few redeeming qualities of the film. But it's just the overall, the entire film was is bad. Like, in the terms of the whole, the political side of things with the, um, with the bills and all that, it, it's <laughs> one of the worst movies I've seen, uh, that involves those type of politics and that, and I haven't seen a lot of films with those politics, but from the few that I have seen, that, one, that one's definitely the worst, um, it's not really romance, I mean, there is some romance to the film, but it's, you know, it's a little bit all over the place in the sense of comedy. It's like, uh, it, the humor is, it, it's almost spoof level of humor, but it's weird because it's sort of original because it's not, it's not spoofing something particular, but it did have that quality of a spoof. Um... And there was some cutaway gags and that. And and the problem I had is that it's in most of the choices for the film. Like, for example, when Jessica Bell's character was in inside right after the uh, terrible nail to the head incident, um, they, they went to do a cutaway gag of the one time she went outside and it was a really bad experience. And 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 the and the music was good. It was a good choice because it sort of it was it made it feel like oh it was a very um, bad angry type experience in the neighborhood. And why is Jessica Bell mouthing the words of the lyrics of the song? I don't know. That's that was a that choice that really stuck out as as bad in my opinion. Like it would have been better if it was just her, you know happily going down the street and then all of a sudden sees the mailbox and is like F and just you know destroys it just like she does and then the child is sitting there like what are you doing you know like it's just some odd choices and like early on um some of the camera work for like i think the party or fundraising scene and all that everything was like slanted and really dramatic and like the camera was turned and I don't even have to do it, I'll just edit it. See, it was like this. It was like very dramatic, very dramatic and it was all like, yo, what's up? And it would cut back and forth like this. 
and <laughs> it was it was it was very odd. It was it was like it's like it was trying to be really 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 dramatic, even though it wasn't. It was um, it was just weird choices like that that really did not help the film at all. In the terms of the cast doing a really good job of uh, performing the really sort of bad story or script and all that. Uh, like at one point you got you got Jake Gyllenhaal um, out in the middle of the woods with a tribe-like um, oh was a men's workshop. And it's one of the few funniest, probably one of the, the one of the more funniest scenes of the movie. And it's just so absurd, and it's like like I I don't think many actors can pull off. His is explaining to the the cop uh, played by uh, I forget his name, but he he looks always familiar. Um, like I've seen him in other things, but um, uh, he's explained to the cop guy <laughs> what it is he's doing in the middle of the forest, and he, he, you actually kind of he, Jake L. Hall, you actually believe him as absurd as it is and I'm like wow not many actors can make a such a bad or crazy out there script work like that so <laughs> that was one of the few highlights I had with the film um, uh, that in the beginning the intro uh, I think was good with the enter Sandman sort of it's everything's nice and happy and and uh, Jessica Bell is uh, roller skating, and uh, I mean that intro was well done. I mean, uh, with the credits, with the nice font, and it was like uh, um, she's working at one of those fast food like A and W type places where they used to have like uh, waitresses on like roller skates and that. I don't know if they still have that. They might still have that somewhere, but they don't have them here in uh, Ontario. I know that. Uh, from what I've seen. Very few moments, but uh, overall, it was a bad film. I mean, especially with the... It had a weak Hollywood, everything worked out type ending. And it didn't really matter by the end of it. So what will I watch next? Subscribe and find out. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day or night or whatever. Have a good time.